everyone, if this is the first time you're joining us, then hello. Welcome to our Swoosh English video series. If you've seen these videos before, then well done and welcome back. My name is Tom and today I'm going to talk to you about grammar. I know, I know, most students don't like grammar, but you have to practice a lot. I know, I am a teacher. Today's talk will be a bit easier. If you have anything to add to the conversation, please feel free to comment below. We would love to hear from you. So, some English grammar is very difficult to learn. Students all over the world struggle with this. Some concepts are easy to teach, but difficult to learn. And some concepts are both difficult to teach and difficult to learn. So, we're going to talk about some of those difficult concepts now and maybe get your feedback in the comment section? I hope so. The first concept is something every student struggles with and this is the present perfect tense. So let's take the verb speak. Present simple, I speak. Present continuous, I am speaking and the present perfect, I have spoken. Memorising these three forms of an English verb isn't the problem. Learning the abstract concept of present perfect is the problem. I think that the best way to understand present perfect is that it is always connected to the present moment in some way. It talks about the time between the past moment, I spoke, and the present, I am speaking. Working with a teacher and practice is the best way to learn this concept. The next is something called phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and a preposition. There are hundreds of phrasal verbs and they often have a different meaning than the original verb and the original preposition. So, some examples of phrasal verbs are speak up, which means to speak clearly or loudly or to speak over, which means to interrupt or speak more loudly than another person and speak down or speak down to which means to disrespect someone or to behave arrogantly. Learning all these phrasal verbs is important, so I recommend trying to learn one new phrasal verb every day or every two days. These are just a couple of examples of things that students find difficult. I'd love to know what English grammar concept is most difficult for you. How do you study this concept? Why do you find it difficult? We'd love your feedback. If you want to hear more videos about grammar and speaking, English in general, subscribe to our YouTube channel just down here. And if you want to talk to a teacher about your grammar, please go to our website at swooshenglish.com and you can talk to one of our UK native English teachers. You can also write your comments below because we'd love to hear, you, hear from you. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.